and down. Um, you know, I thought he thought I thought he threw the ball well in the first half. In the second half, missed a couple of tosses, but we also did our part to the receiver. You know, we had the one in the back of the end zone, and like I told the receivers uh, post game, I, you know, we had a chance to close those guys. You know, several times, at least make them think about you know shutting it down, and, and uh, we didn't take advantage of the opportunity. So. You know, It did. We wanted to, you know, we ended up throwing a little bit more probably than we wanted to. Um, today, especially with some of the young receivers playing. Um, but it is what it is, you know, and, and I thought that they played well. I thought Bryson, for the most part, part played well. I thought, um, you know, Jaden Bray stepped up and performed today. He made some catches when we threw it to him. And, and uh, you know, those guys did a good job as true freshmen. So certainly glad they showed up here in January, January and ready to go. So that was a big deal for us today. How concerned are you with the run game? Very, you know, we've got to nail that down. There's, there's no sugarcoating that. We've got to find a way to get better than I don't know what the heck we had. Probably a two and a half yard carry, something like that, average. So that's got to be better. We've got to address that immediately, um, and it takes a lot of pressure off those young guys playing. You know, like I said. So. Is that a running back issue? Is that an offensive line issues to kind of share some of that blame? Um, it's probably all of the above. You know, should all take the blame for it. We've got. Uh, we got to do a better job of setting the schemes on well, whatever it is, whatever we have to do in order to get those guys to to block it, run it, execute it. You know, so that falls on me. What about Tay? You heard that he was really showing great signs in the preseason, but you really seem like that dominant guy for you out there. He did or did not? He did. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. You know, there were times though that you know I'd love him like, and we talked about this. You know, that guy for us over the years has been a closer. You know, and he had that chance. I know he knows it, you know, on the sideline there. And we ran, you know, his third and extra long in the score zone. And he made a great play and a great catch. And he comes up to me afterwards and he says, hey, I got to finish ugly. You know, and that's just a term that we have around our room of making the catch. And even though, you know, it's going to look ugly, you make the play. You know, you don't want to finish pretty and, and bobble it. So um, it, was a, it was a good learning experience for him. And certainly he's ready to take the next step as being our guy. You're concerned with the run game, but what did you think of Jalen Warren? He had some really bright spots, I thought. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, Jalen's been playing really well for us. You know, I was surprised that we didn't get the run game going today. I really was. Um, you know, which I got to get back and see what's what's going on, and you know, visit with our staff and, and uh, see where we're at with it. But you know, Jalen's been fantastic all the way through camp, and uh, you know, he showed glimpses of, of being a really good football player for us today. And uh, you know, I don't know, just didn't show up in the stat sheet. Coach, you have a lot of newcomers uh, from time today, especially at receiver. How important and meaningful was that to their career, you know, getting in early? It's big. You know, I mean, it feels like, you know, it's deja vu. It's, it's kind of like we had our opener from last year, too, you know. New quarterback out there, don't have our tight end out there. We had, you know, guys getting hurt in pregame, and, and all of a sudden you're, you're shuffling around trying to figure out, you know, where the football's going to go. Um, so having those, those young guys step up the way they did, get some snaps the way that they did, I think they're going to, you know, progress very well throughout the season. Uh, they're talented, but they're young. I mean, there's, it is what it is. I mean, the guys are just out of high school. So, um, you know, there's a learning curve every time. And, but I thought they handled it well today. What would you see from that left tackle position, the turnovers that you see in? I'm not watching it that close. You know, um, I've got to go back and watch that closer and see what's going on there. Um, I know coming into it, you know, it was a pretty good battle for the position. Uh, I'm anxious to see what, what shook out. Yeah, parts of his family did down in Homa. So, you know, um, that was something that we were watching closely and everybody was talking to him all the time. And, and uh, yeah, so, you know, it's, we feel for, you know, him and his family. And, you know, he worked through it. He really did a great job of trying to, you know, compartmentalize, you know, some of the issues and some of the feelings he had. You know, he did a great job through practice. Just a couple more for Coach. What about Caleb Tooby from New Orleans? Did he, how, how did his family shake out? I don't, I don't, I think they're fine. You know, um, Charlie would know more, obviously. It's, his guy, and he talked to him a little bit. Um, and I don't think that there were any major issues. Did you feel like you were kind of short-pressed on time as far as preparing for the guys that, that were out, whether it was injuries or, or COVID this week? Well, not necessarily. You know, I, you know, unlike last year when we lost Spencer right away, we didn't know anything about Shane. We didn't know really anything. Shane hadn't practiced for two weeks. And, you know, and Ethan, we didn't know much about him. This year we did. So, you know, when... Shane was up. We knew what he was all about. We knew what you know, Ethan was all about. So I felt much more comfortable with the quarterback position. Um, you know, the, 
the, the hit was at receiver and all of a sudden we're, we're trying to shuffle guys around. We'd already been thin, you know. We were thin coming into the game and then already uh, all of a sudden to lose one walking out of the dang tunnel was unbelievable. Um, but it is what it is. I feel bad for Langston. He's been chomping at the bit to get this opportunity for a long time. He finally got it. You know, he's, the kid's been snake bit. And um, I just couldn't believe it for him. I, I feel terrible for the kid. Thank you. All right.